for a positive negative drawing, you're going to go to Google Drawings and get a square. And your square is going to go in the middle of your canvas. You want to make that square black. And then you're going to go to your shapes and you can pick any shape. So I'm going to start with a lightning bolt. And I'm going to put my lightning bolt right here and you want your shapes on the edge. You're going to turn that shape white. And now you're going to copy and paste that. Remember it's control C and control V. And now you want to take that shape and you want to go to arrange and you want to go to rotate and you want to flip it vertically. And now you're going to take it and you're going to line it up. So it lines up on the corner and you're going to turn that one black. Now I'm going to find another shape. And I'm going to take maybe this shape and I'm going to draw it here. And again, it's going to get turned white. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to turn that one black. I'm going to line it up perfectly. I'm going to flip it vertically and I'm going to line it up so that it lines up corner to corner. So it looks like it's a little too big. And if you have that issue, just make your square a little bit smaller and bring your square down to the middle. Slide this shape down so they line up. Bring my lightning bolt down. Bring this down. And now you could even draw shapes with your poly line tool. I could draw a. And remember, if we do that, we have to delete it. So I'm going to go and I'm going to delete that. I'll get my polyline poly tool back. And if we don't have the plus sign, we don't have the tool. Maybe I want this one to go like this. So I'm going to turn that white. I'm going to do a command CV. And now I want the arrow tool. I'm going to turn this one black and I'm going to flip it vertically. And it's going to go right there. I could also put it here. So if I wanted to do that, I'm going to copy and paste this one. And when I put it out here, I want to flip this one horizontally. And it could go right there. So it's kind of mirroring itself twice. So you could do things like that. Now I'm going to just get, I want an arrow this time, maybe. I'm going to put my arrow here and turn my arrow white. Turn this one black. Flip it. Now I'm going horizontally because I'm at the side and then just line those up. And then you want to make sure they're lined up. And you can pick any type of shapes. I'm going down and I'm just picking random shapes. And you're going to keep doing this until your design is completely filled in. I can put maybe two more shapes. So let's stick a. Let's go with that.
and this is my and then you would send it to me and that is how you are making your positive negative